We didn't stop for long though, really, because we've got another couple of examples left to do on this um, on this lesson, and then we're done. Then we're definitely done because my head is mashed. Too much talking to myself. Still in the classroom. So it says a rectangle is seven centimeters longer than its wide. Uh, the largest possible circle is cut out of a rectangle, and the remaining area is forty centimeters square. Let the width be 2x. So I know the width is 2x, and I know it's 7 centimetres longer. So let's have a circle. Let's have a rectangle around it. So it tells you the width is 2x. It tells you that the length is 7 longer. Now it's nice that it's set the, the 2x as the width, because what it means is the circle must be x for, um, for its radius and the rest of it is 40 so does it say does it say that so it says the remaining area is 40 so this bit here is worth 40 there so it says find the dimensions So what do we know then? So the area of the rectangle is going to be 2x plus 7 multiplied by 2x. So it's just going to be 4x squared plus 14x. The area of the circle will be pi times x squared, so pi x squared. We know if we do the rectangle minus the circle, it's going to equal 40. So the rectangle is 4x squared plus 14x minus the circle is pi x squared is equal to 40. Now it might look like quite a messy quadratic there, but we have got a quadratic. So if you look, I've got a 4x squared, and I've got a minus pi x squared, and then I've got my, was it 14x? Yeah. And then I've got my minus 40, that's equal to 0. To make it look a little bit easier, if I take out the x squared, as a factor, there. So now I've got a quadratic which I can solve. So a is 4 minus pi, b is 14, c is minus 40. So let's see what I calculated the interest for that there. So a is 4 minus pi, so that's shift and bomb. There, then I've got 14 and I've got minus 40. There. So it gives me 2.48 and minus 18.8. Awesome. So remember that 2.48 and minus 18.8. It's 18.79, wasn't it? So we know for it to be like a physical um, dimension, we know that x has to be greater than 0. Therefore, x must be 2.48. Is this in metres or what? Centimetres. Uh, so it says, what do I want then? So I to find the dimensions of the rectangle. So then for the dimensions, I'll just do it over here. I know the width is 2x, so that's 2 lots of 2.48, which you know is 4.96, is that right? And um, the length is 2x plus 7 
So it's just a 4.96 plus 7, which is 11.96 centimetres. There we go. So it's three sig fig at the end. So that one's okay to three sig fig. That one will have to be at 12.0 centimetres to three sig fig. Okay. Question view on the next page. So square along the path around it. Let you have a go at it. Pause the vid. Have a go and check your answer. There we go. We've got some questions. That's definitely the end of the lesson. So, whew, so we're done.